Dr. Bruce Lipton, our last in our whole series of talks with you. It's been a delight every week to have this opportunity. But really, I want to take the summary point from the subtitle of your book, Spontaneous Evolution. It says, our positive future and a way to get there from here. Tell me. Tell me, what is the way for all of us? Well, once we understand that evolution is not based on an individual. You remember, that's like Darwinian theory, survival of the fittest. What about the other ones? You know, oh, no, we're only going to focus on the individual. A mistake, because evolution is not based on individuals. Evolution is based on community. Nature, if you said, hey, protect human civilization because we had Albert Einstein and we had Mozart and, you know, we have all these wonderful individuals. And nature says, I don't really care. I want to know what the group of humans are doing on this planet. Because if the collectively they're destroying a planet, then I don't care if you have individuals that are fit or more fit. So the new science says, wait, everything is an integrated community on this planet. Every organism on this planet is connected in a matrix with every other organism. We cannot live as humans if we don't have bacteria in our bodies. We now recognize a human that we used to define as a human with human cells is not the definition. Now we understand a human is called a superorganism. I go, what do you mean superorganism? Because it's more than human cells that are necessary to stay alive. If you don't have probiotics, bacteria in your system, what's called the microbiome, then you cannot live. So a human without bacteria is not viable. So then I say, well, what is a human? Oh, well, the human is a human plus at least 10 times as many other non-human cells. And I say, oh, it's a community. A human is a community. I go, yes. And this is a nature that every organism is part of a community. That's why they call it a garden. Uh, and it's really relevant. A garden means what? All of the plants, all of the insects, all of the animals and everything have cooperated to create a garden. And this is our problem. It's the lack of cooperation. But then our evolution is what? The realization that we're all cooperating together in harmony. So could you say that we've lived through an aberrant time or was what we've done, this individualism, this selfishness, this grasping for the self, has that been an important part to get us Absolutely. to this openness? Absolutely. We needed to get some of the basics of our awareness, which was driven by a Darwinian theory at the time, the competition and all that. But the significance is once you come to the awareness that uh, it's not a complete story. So if we live just by the Darwinian theory, which we're living by today, which is based on competition, which leads to violence and war, you look at the planet, you go, look at all the violence, and they say, oh, that's evolution. And I go, this is not evolution. A garden is not a battleground. It's a community of harmony. We lost the garden. Not that the garden wouldn't exist without us. If we get lost, the garden will be right back again. We are the monkey wrench in the garden. We have failed to understand the wholeness, the integrated character of it, that says we are working with everything. Every insect that's out there is relevant to us being here. You say, look, I'll just get rid of the most primitive organism. I'll throw the bacteria out. I say, then the whole thing will collapse because every organism is built on the precursor organisms that got there first. And we are near the, you know, the top of a pile of coming, you know, Johnny come lately, so to speak. What's the point? You undermine the chain underneath and the web of life collapses. And this is no longer a time when we can say, we'll leave it to them to make it right. John, you're, you're seeing people every day in your clinic saying, I want to take responsibility, even yeah. if it's just for my own health. Well, that's the thing. And once people society. become well and they have overcome the, th uh, the striving aspect, they can start to thrive. Mm. And they come out of fight and flight and they start to use their creative brain more effectively. Their hearts start to open up. They become more loving. They become more conscious of not just themselves and their family, but their whole community and eventually their civilization. So they start to do creative things for the benefit of all humanity and the benefit of the whole ecological system because we're nothing without, you know, from the soil through to the sky. Which is what you're saying, so, Bruce. Yeah, you know, peace and love, is that's infective. <laughs> I, I've been infected by love and it's like oh yeah I can't wait to have more you know because we buy it we take it in we see it with other people we experience it ourselves and once we we start to come from love love isn't isolated to an individual love is everything you walk out the door and you see the planet you live in if you can't love that we're in a lot of trouble because it is exquisite yeah. and, and, and what we need is to bring love not just for ourselves not just love for our community of people, but love for every other living and non-living thing on the planet because it all is one. And once we set, 
decided we were separate from the one is when the world started to, you know, we started to negatively affect the world. So Bruce, let's finish there. Your advice to the one person who's watching this, as if you are talking just to one, what would you say to, to her or him watching at home now? Well, I, I would really get into understanding is that we've seen life as a violent thing and we buy that violence so that's human nature and in fact it's not human nature at all human nature is based on the word human which is humane which is having compassion so the character of who we are is compassionate well compassionate means we should be conscious and supportive of everything around us that's what compassion is all about so if you want to be a human then we have to actually engage the concept of compassion which is not really present, you know, and, and unfortunately, uh, uh, I'm, I'm very biased about this, uh, is that because I was part of the medical community. And I, 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 I'm, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to stand up to it, and, and I'm going to say, medicine as current practice in a, in a corporate sense is inhumane. And I say, inhumane? Yeah, because humane means compassionate. And I say, well, how is medicine inhumane? I say, well, look, a person's sick. And I say, well, what do they do? Well, people make money off of sick people because they invested in all the insurance companies. I say, well, how do you make money off of somebody being sick? And the answer, you charge them more money than the services you provide, and the excess is profit. I go, the person's already sick, and you're kicking them when they're down. No compassion. I say, the whole thing that we really have to change is healthcare should be a nonprofit business on this planet. Because when you make a profit, then you're making it off of someone who is in a very weak spot. And this is inappropriate for everything. And this is why the new health care actually doesn't really require a lot more money than, than the one that we do right now. Because it basically starts with consciousness. I can heal myself, my family, and my world by exercising consciousness. But you have to have awareness, knowledge. Knowledge is power. And this is why I so appreciate what John uh, and his community of holistic health is, is like give the power back to the individual to take care of their own health. And that to me is evolution and the future of our planet. So that's why I have deepest appreciation and gratitude for your efforts is let's bring health as just a natural way of life. And that's what we need. And Bruce, can I say we have deepest appreciation and gratitude for you and everything you've given to this program. I this, am so happy to be here because I so appreciate what's going on. You've this is summed what we're up doing. what the program has been about very much, and Thank it's you. been wonderful to have you with us. <laughs>